Okay, moving on. All right, three ingredient chocolate cookies. It's three ingredient chocolate cookie day. I am making sort of a series of three ingredient baking things that are easy, portable, freezable, last a long timeable cookies and stuff. So today we're making three ingredient chocolate cookies. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia Wiles and this is Easy Keto Recipes Made for Real Life. On this channel, I share easy keto recipes made for real life. You have to be able to make this in your real life to be on this channel. If it's complicated, get out of here. If I see more than five to seven ingredients, get out of here. No. So how do we make three ingredient chocolate cookies that are keto friendly, sugar free, diabetic friendly? How do we do that? Well, first you're gonna need almond butter, unsweetened cocoa powder, and some sugar-free maple syrup. For the almond butter, I recommend something that is 100% almond butter. I'm gonna be using some grocery store almond butter and the ingredients are literally dry roasted almonds period and my favorite part is it says contains almonds i sure hope it does anyways i know they have to put that on there for like legal reasons but it just cracks me up every time i'm sure you you crack up as well what i love about these nut butters that have 100 percent whatever's in them is it has the natural oils in there that's going to help with the moisture of the cookie okay so we got 100 percent almonds and we got the oils in there the next ingredient is going to be your unsweetened cocoa powder i'm going to be using hershey's cocoa and it's totally unsweetened and the ingredients on this is cocoa love it does this also say contains cocoa no it doesn't i guess it's just for for nut butters for allergies sake what if i was allergic to cocoa okay the third ingredient is going to be and you're gonna think this is like cheating but i'm sorry sugar-free maple syrup is super duper flexible you can get it anywhere it's available pretty much readily in the grocery stores now i actually was out of my lakanto sugar-free maple syrup so i picked up some grocery store sugar-free maple syrup it's good in a pinch i don't like highly recommend it because because I'm not super in love with the ingredients, but we're not gonna go into that. I'm not a dietitian. But what I super love is Lakanto's sugar-free maple syrup. And I am an affiliate of Lakanto. I've worked with them for several years. I've never had a complaint about any of their products. I'll put it in the description below. You can get a little discount if you use the code. So how do we make three ingredient chocolate cookies? First, you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna grab a medium mixing bowl, then add the almond butter and cocoa powder first and mix it well to incorporate. This is going to be one half cup of almond butter and one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. And then you're going to mix that until it's incorporated. Add one fourth cup of sugar-free maple syrup and mix it with a spatula until a shiny dough forms. It's gonna be a little shiny, it's okay. So shiny. So using a cookie scoop, you will scoop the dough and roll it into a ball and place it on a cookie sheet and actually flatten it. With keto baking, it's... <laughs> Keto baking is an art. I highly recommend Carolyn Ketchen's book about keto baking. She is the main creative force behind All Day I Dream About Food, and you should totally check her channel out. It's amazing. And she, I believe, is the keto baking queen. So there are many different techniques to keto baking. So when you are baking something, things behave a little bit different because we don't have gluten to work with. So I'm not gonna go into the science and everything of it, but it is an art form. So do not get discouraged if you mess this recipe up. It is okay. You can always repurpose it for something else. I like to, if it's a cookie, I like to repurpose it into sort of like a pie crust and maybe put some whipped cream on top and then maybe some sugar-free chocolate chips and then boom, 
you got a little sweet little something that's not gonna make your blood sugar go nuts. Again, not going into the sciencey part. So back to the cookie. Place on a cookie sheet and flatten, then bake for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And after you take it out of the oven, you're gonna make sure that you let it cool completely. With keto baking, you want to make sure that the end product is completely cooled or you're gonna have a crumbly cookie on your hands and you're gonna come into my comment section and rage and say this, fell apart the minute I took it out of the oven. And I'm going to say, did you let it cool completely? And you're gonna say, no, I was too impatient. I wanted the cookie now, and I get it. I want the cookie now as well. Some tips for keto baking. You always wanna make sure your ingredients are room temperature, especially eggs, butter, and cream cheese. Those are the three like top ones that I have to wait around to make sure it's room temperature. Or there's a sweet little awesome hack that you can do. Put it in a little bit of warm water for about five minutes, not hot, God, we don't want to cook it, okay? So warm water for about five minutes should do it, and that'll soften it up, and that will make it so it behaves properly. I love using cookie scoops because it makes sure that you have the exact, I mean exact, amount of dough to put on the cookie sheet. So <laughs> whatever it is in, the bowl and I just bumped my mic. Okay, anyways, okay, cut. 